Question 3. A bucket is transported across a river using a pulley and a cable. When the bucket is hanging stationary at one end of the river, the cable makes an angle of 35 degrees, 35 degrees respectively, and 55 degrees respectively with the vertical poles to which it is attached at points P and Q. The bucket hangs vertically down from the pulley. So it hangs vertically down from the pulley on another piece of the same steel cable from point R. The mass of the cables on the pulley may be ignored. So question 3.1 says, draw a labeled vector diagram, not to scale, showing the relationship between the three forces acting on point R. Label each vector clearly and show the angles between the vectors. So a lot of you just drew this. You drew the vector down, the vector up, and the vector up, and that was it. But that doesn't really help you because it doesn't show the relationship between the three vectors. What we're actually thinking about here is your equilibrium triangle of vectors. You have got three vectors or three forces and they say the bucket is hanging stationary. And if it's hanging stationary, it means that it's in equilibrium. It's in equilibrium, which means that we can draw it as a closed triangle and that's what we were kind of hoping you would do. So let's have a look at this. What would we do? We've got, first we start with the one down, which is R. And guys, remember what I said to you? You guys, you should be using rulers. Unfortunately, I don't have access to a ruler in the software. Then we've got this line here, RQ, which goes up this way. Okay, there's RQ. And then we have this vector here. And remember, we always draw vectors head to tail, head to tail. And that there, unfortunately, is P. And I'll fix that in a minute. Now they're saying to us, so we've done that. That is a 3.1, but we haven't finished because we need to fill in the angles. So we know that this angle here, that this line, which is this line, makes with the vertical is 35 degrees. 35 degrees, right? We also know that this line, this vector here, which is RQ, makes an angle of 55 degrees with the vertical, with the vertical. Okay, but these two lines are parallel. This PR is vertically down and this pole is vertically down. Therefore, we can see that this is actually alternate to that and this is 55 degrees. And if we look at the angle sum of triangle, we can see that, ooh, this here is 35 and 55, which makes 90. Therefore, this angle here is 90. So we've got a beautiful 90, 90 angle triangle, 90 degree angle triangle. Excellent. And that is 3.1. So that's what your triangle should have looked like in 3.1. Now it says, if the weight of the bucket is 980 newtons. So if this is 980 newtons, they want to know what is the tension in cable RQ. So they want to know what is this tension here in cable RQ. Okay, so if this is a 90 degree angle, do you agree that this is the hypotenuse? Okay, and I'm just going to use the 55 degrees because it's the one closest. You don't have to use 35. So this is going to be my adjacent side. And if we think about Sokotoa, if we think about Sokotoa, do you agree that this is the adjacent and this is part new, so we're going to be using cos. So we can say cos of 55 degrees equals RQ over the hypotenuse, which is 980. So we can say 980 cos 55 degrees, and if we just feed that into our triangle, we end up, I mean into our calculators, we end up with 562.10 newtons, 562.10 newtons. And that's it. That's what the answer was for question 3.2. Now 3.3 stumped quite a few of you, and I understand why. It says, state the relationship between the weight of the bucket and the resultant of the tensions in the two cables. 
Okay, and some of you said they did proportional, but that didn't really help because I didn't know if you meant as in one's going up, the one goes down, or whatever. There is a more specific answer, and I need to show you something. So let's just make the eraser small. And erase this bit. Okay, so if you look at vector RQ, do you agree that RQ's vector is going up like this? Okay, so if we broke it in, up into its horizontal vertical components, do you agree it's going to go straight across? If I drew it straight across, and it goes straight up. Okay, so this would be the horizontal comp component and this would be the vertical component. If we had a look at QP, which is the other cable, do you agree it? can be broken up into this vertical component and this horizontal component. Okay, so that vertical component and this is the horizontal component here. But if you look carefully, do you see that this green horizontal, com horizontal component, which is going to the right, the horizontal component of RQ, and this horizontal component of PQ are actually equal but they're opposite in direction. So they actually cancel each other out. So they don't count. They cancel each other out. Okay. So what do we then have? We just have the vertical component of our Q, which is going up. And we've got the vertical component of PQ, which is going up. And then we've got the weight, which is coming straight down. And do you see that the weight is equal to the sum of these two. So therefore the answer is when it says state the relationship between the weight of the bucket and the resultant of the tensions, the resultant of the tensions is the sum of this green v uh, vertical component and the blue vertical component and you will see that they are equal in length but opposite in direction or you could say the resultant is the equilibrant of this, the resultant of the tensions in the cables. And that's all you had to do. You had to realize that the vertical components, which are the resultant of the tensions, is equal to the, res the weight down, which makes sense because if it wasn't equal, then this bucket wouldn't be stationary. It would, just, it would be moving. Right, and that's question three.